Hello, hello, hello. I am here in Elder Scrolls Online today. This is the second part of the Lichel Grand Manor uh, recording set. Yesterday I put up the before and this is going to be what this guy turned it into. Now again, I'm not a big fancy builder. I'm just somebody that builds homes for my characters. And I try to make it something that is, you know, is going to reflect who they are or the choices they've made in life. Now, this fellow is an imperial. He was a noble in the imperial city before the demons invaded and destroyed his life. He is a married fellow. Um, now, once they left, of course, there were decisions that had to be made about where you're going to go. What are you going to do? You've got to start rebuilding your life when everything you've had has been wiped out, right? So he and his wife, uh, they had unfortunately a parting of ways. They are currently separated, but we have hope. We have hope for them that maybe, you know, they'll patch things up. But he's kind of taken a, a darker turn in how he handled things. She is a Templar. She wants to do the best she can to heal the ills of the world. And he is, he's, you know, there's, there's a lot of anger and hurt. Oh, I mean, she has that too, absolutely. But he's, he's gotten into necromancy. Now, he's not all that good at it, I'm going to be honest. And he's gone a little dark side. The hair is very different. You will notice the skulls in, in the hair now and uh, the tats all over, which are brand new to him. Um, and these are all, you know, necromancy symbols and stuff like that. He's, he's, he's doing the thing. Anyway, we've put these, these things up here because it's very hot. We are in a very you know, quite hot part of the world. It's very dry. So we've got the fountain, you know, he, he managed, obviously he has managed to get some money out of the Imperial City. Um, he didn't, you know, he wasn't able to bring all his things, of course, but he, he obviously was able to get some things. Or perhaps he had money in other banks or he had property somewhere else. I'm not, I honestly, he hasn't told me that part yet. But um, anyway, so we've got some trees growing up here. We've got some shade when you walk in. There are a few trees planted. Um, well, not, yeah, there are trees planted, plants here and there. He's got these statues of the, uh, the imperial male and female there on either side. And if you look right up top, you know what? I will put this on so I can point up here in the center. There is the uh, the emperor, the imperial emperor, and of course the banner hanging pride of place right there as you walk in. You will notice he is in the imperial colors. He's got the imperial belt buckle. He rides the imperial war horse, has the war dog, etc., etc. Now there are a few tents along the place for some of his most loyal men at arms. Some of the people that he, you know, served with at different times and who have become close to him. And they live, they live out here on his property. Not a lot of them, you know, so many people died during this invasion. Um, when he got here, he bought this place. As I told you yesterday, this was, um, it, it was a, the summer home of an imperial noble before he died. So anyway, when, when these guys took it over, maybe they were related. Ooh, that's how he got it. I have decided he inherited this from, from a family member. Yeah, that's why he's here. And when he showed up, a lot of the, the men with him were wounded. So we do have, this has become a bit of a field hospital. Now, I'll be honest, this is not looking as good as it did before. I had, you know, implements in here and a lot of interesting things going on. But I have borrowed them for other builds, and I forgot that until right this minute telling you. Hmm. So... It's not quite complete yet. Damn, <laughs> that's too bad. That is too bad. So we're gonna wander up here a little further. There's there's some more tents up here. Some of the uh, the horses of his the man that's with him. All oh, just a little place outside where they can sit and play a game in the sunshine or in this case in the shade, depending on time of day. Another couple of people sleep in there. Another couple of people sleep in here. Nothing fancy where you don't have fancy. They don't have homes anymore, right? And they're soldiers. They're used to uh, they're used to roughing it anyway. Now we get another little game back there. Something's going on. Uh, just a few bits and bobs. There we go. So yeah, darn, it's not perfect. <laughs> 
my field hospital is it it was done it was pretty it was pretty cool for a while but i've borrowed it for another build oh i'm so ashamed so this is the imperial commander's tent uh, something he was able to salvage oh there's his trusty dog and his his awesome war horse just gorgeous wonderful wonderful animal one of the imperial war horses they're all grays they're really lovely and he likes a good wine so he's actually you know he's getting grapes in from different places and uh, they're bottling their own back here because you know he, he was used to a certain lifestyle right and you, you know I, I understand I like a good wine myself so I showed you the towers and the views up there yesterday we've got some more trees planted um, I haven't gone with trees everywhere in here. I, I like the open space. I like the sunlight. I like that hot, deserty feeling. But you need some shade in a world like that, too. So we have places where you can sit, you know, all over. And then this little secret garden area. Now, I, I showed you that yesterday. I turned it into a little private garden. It's not fancy, but it is one of my favorite spots in any of the houses that I have built. I, I I love this place. I love this place. I It just makes me happy. There's an, the Imperial Fountain over there with a fire on the top of it. Um, just a place to sit at night, have a wee chat if you've got company, or if you just want to curl up in the afternoon, read a book, have a glass of wine, and just do a crash and burn. You can do that right here in the shade. Again, I just put um, the shrubs actually up on top to give give a shady place we've got all the lovely you know the candles along here if you're into a meditation moment or just some quiet reflection as he wonders how to raise the dead <laughs> lovely just lovely or you can sit back here and do a marshmallow roast you never know right the soldiers can come in you know the his men at arms who have come with him his commanders his best friends they can come and sit back here and maybe I should give them a place like that to sit in front of their tents. I, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I might do that. I might do that. I mean, these are homes. They're never done. Things change. You get a new piece of furniture or you collect something that you like and um, and you add, you know, we, we, we repaint, we, we redecorate, we change our minds about a hobby that we've had and we get rid of stuff, you know, whatever. Oh, I do love this place. That ceiling, when the first time I saw this house, I can remember it wasn't up for sale. I had just missed it. It had come out. I had missed it. <coughs> I was here in the Gold Coast, <coughs> and I, I, you just come up on it by accident. I didn't even know it was here. And I walked in and just fell in love with this place. And then I had to wait a year to be able to buy it. Yeah, it was harsh. Anyway, so there's some little homemade furniture that I've put together, just a place to sit. Main reception hall where he can have meals with his, his men or company, whatever. Uh, he is a bit of a collector, and some of these, uh, three of these items are for the antiquities that is out in the game now, and that is, a, you know, a crest of the, the Imperials again. Uh, we have just a wee kitchen. I didn't put a lot into this one this time. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how much the man is actually here and how often he eats here, but the cook just sleeps back here on the cot in the kitchen. You know, Cinderella, it's totally doable. <laughs> it's not that bad, really. Oh, he has Kitty. I forgot the cat was there. Hello, Kitty. How are you? His little library, just a private, quiet place in the world or, you know, where he can have friends. And again, there's a different game on the table there. His desk to get some work done or, you know, to sit and read, whatever. And some of the things he has collected here and there in the world. Bits and bobs in his travels. And I love this part. He can sit here in front of the fire. It gets cold in the desert in the evening. You can sit here and he can look up at that beautiful painting of his home. There, there's Cyrodiil and the Imperial City sitting across that field, the mountains that surround it. And he, you know, he just remember where he's from and what his life used to be and try not to be angry and bitter and trying to raise the dead. <laughs> and we're just saying that room off to, the, off to the right there, you can see some creepy blue light coming out of it. You know how it is. You know how it is. 
and uh, you know the private place in the world or a place for private meetings again with his commanders they can sit up here in front of the fire in the evening and plan you know what they're doing next um, the next campaign heading back into Cyrodiil heading back into the Imperial City if you need a break there's a little games table again and you know his his place in the world this is where you sleep at night there is a door to go out to the balcony there we'll be having a look at that in just a second and um, yeah so it, it's not a big fancy build it's just this man's home it is what it is and I I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it now it's not done in the fact that this is a military man and I wanted some you know some of the war machines I wanted a couple of things in here to really emphasize that and I, I don't have the rank with him to be able to buy them so I'm probably going to be spending a year <laughs> doing PvP with the guy or a very 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 intense couple of months um, so then he's he's going to be able to buy those things that I want him to buy and um, and then it will be complete then it will be a done deal and there is, of course, the emperor, the statue of the emperor, and um, and the view of his home. He can stand out here in the evening and look across this property. And you know, it, it's a nice place. It's a nice place. It is not the imperial city by any means, but there are no demons on hand except for the ones that he is conjuring himself, maybe. But uh, yeah, anywho. So, and this is the room, oh, see, uh, things he collects, he's, he's, yeah. This is the room where he's trying to learn his new craft. So he has been collecting things. He is collecting books and writings and scrolls, and he's playing with magic. Here is a, a bit of a, you know, a, a semi, I guess we'll call it a success, this little wee demon mummy thing. And up here, we've got the little, the little um, dragon that has been animated. He's, he's managed that much yet. He's really not done a hell of a lot that's been all that successful just yet. But he is collecting holy writings, you know, books along the way. He's getting into the, the creepy stuff, that's for sure. And he does his studies and his practicing. Oh, I see he's working on a He's working on another dead body there, as you do. Oh, and he's got more hanging, waiting in, yeah creepy very creepy but there I mean he's you know he's working on it and maybe we'll get lucky and he'll never be all that good at it <laughs> and uh, yeah necromancy ooh shiver so this is it this is the Lichal Grand Manor with Brand Tutorius who is a imperial noble who is trying to rebuild a life best he's able and you know, maybe one day he and Bren will get back together and she'll move in here too. Although she has a charming little house in Ribbonspire. Oh, it, oh, it's just beautiful. I love her little house. It's not as grand as this. Apparently he got the money and she didn't, or she has chosen to spend it elsewhere. But um, I love her place. I absolutely love her place. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, there it is. So thank you for being with me on this tour. Uh, like I said, we will be, I'll be putting the details back into the little field hospital here off to the left, and I will be getting some more machines in as we go, but that's probably going to be a very long haul for him. So thank you for your comments. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoy ESO housing and you enjoyed some part of this tour, and uh, I look forward to hearing that and answering and, and getting to know you a little bit. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you to everyone who makes my life possible, and until I see you next time, let's try to live our lives happy and build them beautiful. Bye-bye.